Welcome back everyone, Zaf here. Before I bring you our routinely scheduled Legend of Slime content, we have a new channel name and look, so hopefully you like it. It definitely took a while to finally bring the changes to the channel, but going forward, just refer to me as Zaf, and our channel name is Zaf Plays. That's because, well, all four letter names are taken, so we just have to settle with what we can get. Definitely be sure to let me know in the comment section if you like the new channel name, look, and image, since I always care about your opinions. And also, I have all the available coupon codes here to the side of the screen before we start our very early review of the new Slime Alley in Legend of Slime. Some of these coupon codes are extremely long, so just go ahead and input them while you listen to the video. There is currently four working coupon coupon codes, two that are from the past week, and two legacy codes which I have included here as well for all the new players tuning in. If you could let us know in the comment section if they worked for you, that way we know if they are still working after the release of this video. So thanks for the help and be sure to subscribe for more. And if you still want to unlock Lovecat, feel free to comment your codes here, that way they get used allowing you to unlock Lovecat. Anyways, for today's video, we are going to unlock Alley for a very early access review of the slime we're just going to see how good they are whether or not they're going to be worth the purchase and if they are the strongest slime we have access to right out of the gate as of the latest version of the game first up i have to clarify ali's slime skill although it does say the amount of damage is dependent on the total amount of gems used it does not actually refer to the number of gems we use in game that's just part of the skill activation where the gems are included as part of the slime skill itself so don't worry about having your gems used as part of the slime skill since honestly speaking that would be a bit ridiculous but as we look at Ali's slime skill description every 8.5 seconds which is a solid cooldown for a slime as our previous best slime skill damage dependent slimes activate their skills on an 8 to 10 second basis such as minor swallow and moon rabbit we deal 700 percent of total ally attack which is generally the scaling norm for all pay to win slimes where they do scale off ally attack and as for Ali, we do deal this amount per treasure drop based on the random amount of treasures that their slime skill chooses to generate, which can be up to 18 times, so that means we have the potential to deal 12,600% damage, which I do believe is actually the highest skill damage amount for any slime we have to date. Moon Rabbit slime skill, for example, is 8 separate projectiles times at approximately 1,000 ally attack each, and Zom sign is at 8,000% too. So already Ali slime skill is looking very promising. Having around a 40% stronger base than our current best slime skill damage related slimes. This is of course not factoring in astrology and other boosts that could affect a slime skill damage, such as Miner who does receive a boost to their slime skill from astrology. But I digress looking back at Ali. Although his slime skill does look good on paper, I have to say his own effect bonus bonuses aren't too impressive, it is very average to say the least. We only get a 40% HP boost from owning him which is a shame, since having HP is extremely vital in the game right now. That gold obtained bonus really hurts his purchase potential, if that were replaced with another HP bonus it'd make purchasing Alley all the better. But aside from that, the cumulative 40% critical damage bonus and 100% attack increase does help his case very much, although when we look at slime like Moon Rabbit and Swallow, they also do have gold obtained included in their own effect bonuses while still providing more of a boost to our damage. Since I don't think that 40% boost in HP will really do too much for us, but really it is a coin toss between which set would provide a better benefit for you, a marginal gain in damage, or 40% HP. I'd honestly say HP at this point since it's such a scarce resource, so he is basically on par with other slimes. That is, when it does come to the own effect bonuses, he does provide, and some of you might not be aware of this, but leveling your slimes to 200 doesn't technically mean more damage. For promotions, you should essentially be doing them equally amongst your slimes, generally starting with your SS rank slimes, because the real damage gains come from the slimes unlocking their slime skills at level 35, otherwise level doesn't mean too much in terms of damage, there is no hidden stat bonus for getting a slime to level 200 first, and keeping your other slimes at level 100 for example. Now let's jump into some enemy battles. 
Ali Slime skill doesn't look too bad at all. The skill activation time isn't too long, which is a great thing. I'm sure you know all about slimes like Hero, where it does take absolutely forever for him to cast his slime skill. This is always a negative trait for a slime to have, regardless of how much damage your slime skill does. The longer it takes for a slime skill to activate, just means the longer it takes for the cooldown to start counting down, which would result in our slime having less activations within every battle they find themselves in. Ultimately, this would cause us to do much less damage than we otherwise would have done, so this is a strong quality for any slime to have. Now, to test Ali, basically we have a bit of a damage comparison between our slimes. I'm just going to run our usual build, and yes, don't worry, I'll have an updated build guide video coming out very soon, hopefully our next video, where I will outline some important changes that we haven't made to our build yet. The build I'm using here is not currently the best build, I'm just using it because if I were to switch to our new build, our slime testing would be a bit obscured, so using our regular egg throw bird build, I'm going to test Ali against Gent, who is the absolute best with this current build, and I'll be pinning him against another top tier skill damage dealing slime, which in this case will be Swallow, just to see where things land off in comparison to Ali. Since as one of our most recent in-game updates, slime skill damage has become more relevant, so let's see how these slimes perform. First off, let's start a baseline with Gent going into a Sage Boss battle. We were able to bring them down to 392 AJ health remaining. Next up, I'm going to throw in Swallow. Uh, again, Swallow is a very strong slime, as his slime skill is considerably stronger than the rest of our slimes. So if Ali does perform ahead of Swallow, I'll be very surprised. Swallow's performance, although great, is still a hair behind Gent, where we were able to bring the Sage Boss's health down to 1.24 AKH remaining. Now, now let's jump into the Sage Wasp battle with Ali. I should also note that we are using the same toy with each slime, just so their skill damage isn't obviously obscured by a toy that boosts a slime's individual slime damage, keeping everything fairly comparable. We can see that Ali does indeed generate random amounts of drops per skill activation. Obviously, this will cause a slight variation in his damage, but watching this play out, it does look like Ali is close to Swallow's performance. In fact, it does seem like we're able to suppress his damage output compared to Swallow's result of 1.24 AK health remaining on the Sage boss, Ali was able to bring them to 1.22 AK health remaining, which although isn't a huge difference, is impressive considering Swallow is one of our stronger slimes. Now this is a far cry from a performance with Gent, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. There is a lot of changes to our builds coming up where Gent may not actually be as important anymore, so Ali isn't going to be too terrible of a pickup. Now the question remains, should you purchase him? Well, it does depend on your budget of course. Slime Slime passes are always the cheapest way to obtain a slime and other resources, so if you can afford it, I would say Ali isn't too bad of a pickup at all. He does have good damage and a decent own effect bonus, and you'll just have to pay more for him down the line, so why not just buy him now before you regret it? But with this said, do wait for our build guide video and tier list update. This is because slime skills have changed, so we do need an update on that. Our build will also change a fair bit as well, since our traits are no longer going to look the same, but that is for another video. Make sure you are subscribed for that, and do like and comment if you enjoyed today's content. Zaf signing out.